Hi, I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on average rate of change. We'll apply difference quotient method to find the rate of change. The question here is an object is falling according to the equation h of t equals to 245 minus 5t square where t is measured in seconds and h of t is measured in meters. Find the average velocity in over the first two seconds. Now we need to find the average velocity and we are given height which is the position. Velocity is rate of change of position, correct? Therefore, first step should be from the given expression of position which is height in our case h of t equals to 245 minus 5t square let's find the expression for velocity right so what is velocity velocity is change in rate of change of position right so that is if you want to find velocity we have to find rate of change of height is it okay so which we may write as h dash t or uh, dh dt right anyway change in height over with time we'll find this rate of change of height using difference quotient method some of you who have learned power rule can also find using power rule so so basically that will be limit uh, we'll take a small variation uh, let's say delta t uh, where delta t approaches 0 f of the expression is in t right so we'll write I should have written h anyway let's write h of t plus delta t minus h of t divided by delta t right so I'm trying to write the same difference quotient equation using the given variables h of t is our function, t is the independent variable, delta t is the point which is very close to any other point and uh, the distance between those two points is almost zero so that helps to find the expression for velocity, correct? Now in our case h of t is 245 minus 5t squared so we'll replace t with t plus delta t so the expression will be, let's write down here, limit delta t approaches 0, h of t plus delta t will be 245 minus 5 t plus delta t whole square, right, that is this, minus h of t is, let's write in brackets, 245 minus 5 t square divided by delta t. So let's expand we get limit delta t approaches 0 245 minus 5 times t square plus 2 t delta t plus delta t square minus 245 minus 5 t square divided by delta t that gives us limit delta t approaches 0 now as you can see these two terms will cancel out minus 5 t square will cancel out with 5 times t square so this term right if I multiply I get minus 5 t square so that cancels out so what we are left with now I'll open the bracket so we have minus 5 times 2 as 10 t delta t and minus 5 delta t square right divided by delta t now which is equal to now delta t can be taken common so we get limit delta t approaches 0 so let's take minus delta t common so we are left with 10t minus 
I could have taken 5 also uh, minus 5 delta t divided by delta t. Now delta t and delta t can be cancelled. So in this expression we get a limit delta t approaches 0 for 10 t minus 5 delta t. Now since delta t is very small we can replace it with 0 and this limit is 10 t right so we get this limit as equals to 10 t so the expression for velocity is equals to 10 t right so let me use this space now to rewrite what we have got for velocity so we have got expression for velocity as equals to 10 t those of you who know power rule they can straight away I get minus is there sorry uh, I forgot to write this minus sign so let me take this minus sign here so it is minus 10 t so those of you who know power rule they can multiply 2 by minus 5 get minus 10 t straight they really don't have to do all this but I hope this exercise for those who have just started with calculus and they've just learned difference quotient method okay now the question is to find average velocity in over the first two seconds. Now, that average velocity will be what? So, in first two seconds, let's write first two seconds. That means from 0 to 2, right? So, we are looking for average velocity, right? So, that should be velocity at 2 minus velocity at 0 divided by 2 minus 0. Is it okay? So that is the average velocity in first two seconds, right? So if I substitute 2 here, I'll get velocity at 2. So that means minus 10 times 2 minus of minus 10 times 0 divided by 2. Minus 10 times 0 is 0. So we are left with minus 20 divided by 2 which is minus 10 and the unit should be meters per second right meters is the height and time is in seconds so that is so much meters per second so average velocity is minus 10 meters per second for the first two seconds right and that is how you're going to solve it i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best